26 points of five. It wasn't pretty at times, but Ireland got the bonus point in the end. Yeah, and I think they played a little bit more direct in the second half and went through a lot more phases and put Scotland under pressure. I think Scotland will be bitterly disappointed, you know, Hogg's potential pass for a try and, and some of the situations in the second half. But Ireland not playing wonderfully, still won comfortably. Yeah, I'd say from a Scottish point of view, they will be disappointed because they started the game so well, started the second half very well to trying to test Ireland out wide. We haven't seen many teams do that. So it was probably a good challenge for Ireland. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Scotland came to, to play. I think just the, the physical battle you saw uh, at Rook time, Ireland were just superior in that and, and got a couple of key turnovers uh, at, at crucial times. But no, fair play to Scotland. You know, they, they, they played well. Blair Kinghorn, you know, there was question marks about him. I thought he played really, really well. Uh, so they'll be bitterly disappointed because they definitely left some points out there. Are you surprised they didn't bring on Finn Russell a bit earlier, though? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, it was on the 60-minute mark. I think we were all sort of sitting there going, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for him to show a bit of his magic and creativity and maybe came on six or seven minutes too late. Uh, but again, Ireland's defence uh, towards the end, again, you know, in their own 22, they were able to turn over Scotland far too easily and just relieve the, relieve the pressure. From an Irish point of view, though, where do you see this team making real steps forward in the Six Nations? Yeah, well, again, I mean, winning a Triple Crown is, is, is a fantastic thing for uh, any team and, and again you know it, it, it's, it's good from team morale yeah. uh, to be winning constantly so I mean it's amazing how we're judging Irish teams now not playing well but they're still able to uh, produce performances and, and win trophies even though they didn't necessarily play fantastically today but then, again, that's a sign of a good team. But you can see as well the template of the style of rugby that they're trying to play and yes it might not always come off but they're following through with it and they're getting the bonus points when they need them in the end. Yeah, and I think that's really exciting is that players, you can see that they've been encouraged to maybe throw a few more offloads or to go with it with good instincts but go, with good instincts you've got to make sure that you, you, you're you accurate and, and there were a few times they weren't accurate but they're not afraid to, to go again and I think that's really encouraging for, for Ireland. And brilliant to see the likes of Dan Sheen who got player of the match today some like Kieran Treadwell, a lot of players coming off the bench to strengthen depth in this Ireland squad is going the right direction too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there might have been a couple of occasions maybe in the scrum, you know, in the second half they were a bit bit worried, but to have players, I mean, Dan Sheehan was just unbelievable today and, you know, to have him and Rowan Kelleher in the hooker position is, is, is really good for Ireland. And finally, I can't finish up the day without asking about Italy. I mean, what a performance, what a win. A real monkey off their back. Yeah, I'm going to be in a good mood for uh, a couple of months, but uh, you know, yeah, it, it's just what it is. Just one game, but a massively important. And as I said before, for the competition, it's 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 so important. But not only to, to win, to win over in Cardiff, nobody would have given them a chance. And it's just great for for rugby in general and for Italian rugby. So hopefully they can kick on. Going to put you under a bit of pressure here. Could you sum it up in Italian? One word. Some bravi. <laughs> Some bravi. We'll take that. Ian McKinley, thank you. Grazie.